Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, we are going to continue with the creation of hybrid framework where I am going to show you how to optimize the fixtures. So let's get started. In one of the previous session, we have created the fixtures and those fixtures we are going to optimize by reducing the number of lines of code related to fixtures in our automation framework. So let's get started with this practical demonstration. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm IDE where we have this uh, current framework. Okay, so far developed framework is available here. So in this so far developed framework, where the fixtures are used, let me show you. I'll open this uh, uh, test. I'll open this uh, test search first of all. And here you can see before this class, you have mentioned use fixture setup and tear down. Okay, this fixture is created where in the conf test. Okay. So where is the conf test? Here is a conf test. You can see here is a one of the fixture. You can have any number of fixtures in this conf test. Won't, but uh, till now we were only using one fixture here, and that the name of the fixture, okay, setup and tear down, is used in this individual uh, test Python file by mentioning this, okay, decorator that is used fixture signed. Uh, here we have mentioned the name of the fixture from the conf test, okay. So this particular tests inside this uh, Python file are using this particular fixture. Similarly, if you go for another one, uh, the same line is repeated here. You see, if you go to the test uh, login also, here also we are using the same fixture. Here also, using the fixture is mentioned. Now, if you go to the test register also, here also it is mentioned, okay? Using the fixture is mentioned. In all, okay, it may be multiple fixtures also, okay? But, uh, you can put a comma here and specify multiple fixtures in this use fixtures. But here, what, what's happening here is this, this line is being written in all the Python files. Okay, here it is written in the test search.python file, it is there. The test login.python file, it is there. In the test register.python file is there. Tomorrow, if you have 100 Python files, this line will be written in each and every, okay, each and every Python file, okay, 100 times, right? So to overcome this, we can do one thing that is here under the test, create to optimize this, okay, to reduce this line to be written in every Python file, what we can do is we can create a new Python file and name that as base test, press enter. In the base test, create class, say base test, colon, and here, write pass, okay, you don't have to write any code here, just uh, for sample, I'm creating this, okay, just for the sake, we are creating this class. And on the top of this class, on the top of this class, we'll mention this fixture name. Okay, this uh, this some um, decorator along with the fixture name we are going to mention here in the base test. Pour the mouse on this and import this from PyTest. Now everything is fine, right? Now the fixture is now used at the base test. I will make this base test a parent of all these individual Python files which have the test methods. First, I'll go to the test search and I'll remove this part. It's not required anymore. So when it is not required, when I make this particular test search a child of this base test. Here, I'll make this test search a child of the base test like this. Okay, hover the mouse on this and import this. Done. You don't have to mention uh, the decorator of using the fixtures and all here. Okay, in every Python file, you don't have to mention anymore. Now you went to the test login here also make this uh, particular class, a child class of base test class. So that uh, use fixtures kind of thing is inherited here, okay? It's applicable for all the tests because these are the child classes of the base test, okay? Only in the base test, we'll mention that use fixture and all the tests, all the test Python files which are inheriting this base test are automatically using, okay? You don't have to explicitly specify like this, okay? You can remove this specification and make this uh, class a child class of base test and uh, it's done. So this is how we can optimize the fixtures in the individual test uh, Python files having the test methods. And you don't have to mention that decorator saying mark.use fixtures in every Python file, rather just specify in one of the parent class, say base test like this, and uh, make this base test a uh, parent of this all these uh, files. What will happen automatically? It will be inherited. This will be automatically used in all the Python files, okay? Even though it's not mentioned because that is a child class of this parent class. Now let's run and see whether it is working fine after uh, after moving that uh, decorator, this particular use fixtures decorator into the base test and making this base test parent of all these Python files and removing this uh, use fixture from all the Python files, whether the test, all the tests are working fine or not. Let's see. 
So for that, I'll simply say pi test and press enter. Let's see whether any uh, tests are running properly or not. If even one test runs also, it's fine. That proves that uh, the things are working fine, okay? So you see, test uh, login test has run. First login test has run. Let's see whether all the tests are running or not. If all the 11 out of 11 tests run means, so that means uh, the optimization of the fixture is successfully done. So in this session, I mainly wanted to teach that, okay, show you that how to optimize that fixture code and fixture uh, decorator uh, line. Instead of specifying that in individual Python files, we can move that into the one parent class kind of thing, parent Python file, the way I have shown in the session, okay? And now the scripts are working fine. You see, without any problem, the scripts are working fine. In real time, you may have multiple fixtures in the conf test or py file. And um, in that case, uh, tomorrow if I, uh, use any other fixture, right? I'll simply go to that base test and specify the fixture, okay? Instead of going to the individual Python files, the upcoming sessions, if required. So, the register tests are running now. Let's wait for all the tests to complete. So now let's see such tests are running. Uh, still register tests are running, not such tests. I think they are done now. Four out of four completed. Now remaining three such tests will run. Looks like everything is passing. So whatever the changes we have, we are done are successful. We have successfully optimized the fixtures in the framework. I think it's done. So 11 out of 11 tests got passed and uh, things are working fine. So guys, that's all for this session where I have shown you how to optimize the fixtures in the so far created hybrid framework. And uh, by optimizing the fixtures, we have taken this hybrid framework to the next level. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.